Good morning. For any occasion, that is right, Jack. For any occasion. How are you guys doing? KG, Curtis, Troy, Kelly, Tiffany, CJ Black, Grom, Candy. Oh, boy. So, who has bought what from the dollar per gallon sale? Um, as the title suggests, the dollar per gallon sale is going. Unless you lived under a rock, you already knew that. But uh, now that we got the topic out of the way, we can talk about whatever we want. <laughs> Good thing I checked. No notification. Zen, Ginger, how you doing? Um, there you go. There you go, Zen, Ginger. Uh, yeah, well, you probably didn't get a notification because I didn't schedule this till about three and a half minutes ago. Uh, also, say, say, welcome a new member, Giraffe. We have a Giraffe as a member, so thank you, thank you, thank you. As well as, I, I missed it last Monday, I feel bad. UPSer, living the dream. Welcome to the Steam Flash Roll. Rio, hello, what's going on, buddy? Down the wormhole, hello. I have bought nothing. Trying my hand at reselling, resealing a 20 gallon I got for free that needs it. Okay, okay. Is it worth resealing a 20 gallon when you can go buy a brand new one for $20? That is my question. Now, if you're doing it for the experience, um, you know, then that's one thing. But, I mean, you're going to spend, what, five bucks on silicone? And then a couple hours in time, maybe. I don't know. Uh, dollar per gallon sales are regional. Probably not available in my area. Uh, it should be all across the U.S. All, all across, across the U.S. US. Oscar, Oscar says, says, how, how you doing, doing, buddy? I'm, I'm doing, doing great. great. Audio, Audio weird for anyone else? Uh, I, I sure hope, hope not. not. It's, it's all coming out normal on my end. end. So, experience now with tube of silicone already. Oh, well, well, yeah. yeah. That's, that's all right, right then. then. Never, Never mind. mind. Echo, huh? Where are we getting an echo at? I will find it. Oh, I did find it. Get rid of that. And now the echo is gone. Should be gone, right? That was my fault. Yeah, suddenly you have an echo. Echo, echo. Is John here? KG Tropicals must have just, uh, must be lurking. See? Unlike, unlike John. I can fix my problems right away. Uh, Bob say the winner is. Uh, Bob say and the winner is. But the echo sounds cool. It's gone. <laughs> yep. <laughs> then Lisa is here. Hello, Lisa. It's that easy, John. See how easy it is to fix the echo? Oh, man. So I cleaned out my local Petco of 20-gallon tanks, and I might get them for free. I'd super chat, but I spent all my money on Cottonelle. Mm, maybe a good investment. Put back the Echo. I can. I could. Echo, Echo, Echo. Uh, $49 for a 40 breeder and $34 for a glass top. Why so much for the top? Um... Tops are always expensive, and you could probably get tops cut cheaper than at, like, a local glass shop. But the thing I don't like about the glass tops is that black hinge that goes right down the middle and blocks all the light. Like, it's so dumb. I mean, that's where you, you want your light in the middle, right, usually? But they're going to put a nice, thick, black hinge all the way across the top. So I don't really like those tops. What type of reddish rainbow fish is that in the back? If you're talking about this gigantic crossbred rainbow fish, uh, that's what it is. It is, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that that is a crossbreed. Uh, there is, it looks like a, maybe a praycox or maybe, yeah, there's a praycox right there, which has the red fins. If you're talking about that one, which is the dwarf neon. Troy says, I make my own tops. Yes, I was at Home Depot yesterday and bought more of the carbonate panels to make room, to make room, to make tops for all the 20-gallon tanks that I just bought. 
8 crate is an amazing as a 8 crate is amazing uh it still lets out a lot of moisture humidity though um micro steen i don't know what that's a reference to but matthew vargas you're coming in here slanging the insults and just for you i bought 24 kamaka rainbows are going to be here today um actually my fish might show up while I'm live streaming because it's guaranteed delivery by 10. Um, so, yeah, I have a lot of rainbows coming in. A lot of rainbows. Um, Michael Trino says, I got, I got not plecos yesterday. I got not plecos. What's a not plecos? I heard crosses were ugly. That one is really pretty, though. No, crosses are not ugly. People just like to frown on, on crossbred rainbows um, just because the purists don't like them crossed. It's really not a big deal if you're not selling them. What, what I have a problem with is that if someone crossbreed breeds rainbows and then sells them as like a yellow. Like if, if they crossbred a turquoise and a yellow and then was selling the fry at yellow as yellow rainbow fish, that's the problem. Uh, don't worry, your dogs will let us know when your fish show up. Yeah, and they all just showed up here. Hey, can you guys go lay down? Can you get out of here? Don't don't growl at me. Get out of here. Uh, Jane, it all depends on what you're keeping. I got two pieces of glass cut for uh, lids from a local glass shop that used scraps, and they were free. Yeah. Yep. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. I'm planning on going to Seattle when I'm in the Pacific Northwest to visit the co-op and see the city. Is it still worth giving what's going on? Are you kidding me? Everything is worth it right now. Travel prices are going to be so cheap. I can't wait. I just, ugh. I mean, it's already so cheap. It's already gone down. It's $100 a round trip for me to go to Vegas right now. Yes, absolutely. It'll be worth it. And I think the prices are going to keep falling and it's going to be awesome. Zach's Tank's Crazy Aquarium Guy. What's up, buddy? Fish Dream says, I got 11 Illuminatus Juveniles the other day. Um, I wouldn't order anything from Aquarium Co-op. That seems a little ridiculous. I would. I absolutely would. Uh, stared at two young... Wait. Aqua Discovery stared at two young green phantoms they had for $70 this morning. Thought of you, Bob. Wow, green phantoms are $70? What size were they? I'm curious. If they're like two to three inches, I definitely need to start breeding them. Who is dumping buttloads of money into the stock market like I am? Now is the time to buy. <laughs> yeah, alpha. I have been like crazy. You have no idea. Like, it's insane. It is absolutely insane. Every single day I buy more. Um, I'm going to be able to retire young. Young. Once all this nonsense is over. Uh, what I... I Wait. Jane says something from Aquarium Co-op and everything I've ever received has been exceptional. Yeah, there's no reason not to. It's all stupid. Uh, Derek says, I'm going to Seattle next month and can't wait for the dirt, dirt cheap tickets. Now, I don't know why anyone would want to go to Seattle in the first place because it's a dump, but you shouldn't let what's going on affect your trip because it's stupid. Of course, don't listen to me. I'm just an idiot on the internet. I'm going to Seattle. Oh, I already got that one. Yeah. And you know, like around here, like I'm in the epicenter uh, they just closed all the schools around here for the next six months, six weeks, not months, six weeks. So everything is shut down here, but nobody's dropping dead. People are everywhere. I go to the grocery store. There's still a ton of people there. Go to the gym. There's still a ton of people there. Um, whatever. Everyone just got it a month and a half off. Uh, Mr. Zen, welcome to the CFA show. Hello, Mr. Zen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the Zen ginger saying, thanks, Mr. Zen. <laughs> Oh, man. Um, stuff is starting to be shut down in Michigan. Oh, it's so stupid. It's so stupid. 
I mean, I don't know. I'm really trying not to rant about it, but it's pretty stupid. You know, the NBA cancels the rest of the season. So stupid. Mr. Zen, hello, Bob. Well, hello, Mr. Zen. $20 super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, oh, man, I had a thought, and I, was gonna, and I lost it. So, lots of rainbows coming in today. Let's talk about that. My, so, actually, I ordered some stuff that didn't come in. So, I ordered some Peepa Peepa frogs, which are the crazy frogs with the crazy backs and the tadpoles. Um... Like they raise them on their back, and it's it's it is really out of this world. If you've never seen a peepa peep, peepa frog, uh, they're a fully aquatic frog, and they're just insane. Um, but they did not come in, so it's very very disappointing. And I'm getting some female centeniensis rainbows for my lonely male, and trying to breed them. A lot of my breeding stuff is gonna be like <laughs> amazing if I can actually get them to breed. So I've got one male and one female of Glossolepis uh, Gittemann. So hopefully they breed. I have one male and some females for the Centeniensis rainbows. Hopefully they breed. And uh, yeah, a lot of the stuff is that way. But I'm also getting Pygmaeus. Um, Melanotania Pygmaeus rainbows. A ton of them hopefully are coming today. And those guys are really expensive. I'm surprised how expensive they are. Uh, Carrie says it's a win-win. Everything crashes. The money you spent won't be worth anything regardless of what you do now. Um, I don't know. Money's not worthless. <laughs> uh, sorry, I was working and not paying attention to the phone. Oh, was that, was it an accidental membership in super chat? <laughs> like, whoops. <laughs> oh man. Just kidding. Uh, Walmart says you don't have to go to work if you feel uncomfortable. Hmm. Guys, I think what we're going to have to do here is cancel all future live streams. How many people are here? We have over 100 people here. And uh, to help spread, stop the spread, I think all future live streams will be suspended until further notice. We can't risk it. We can't. Sorry, guys. Um, again, sorry for the issues. I don't know what's going on with him. Three years being a mod for him. I've never seen him acting this way. Um, as then Ginger OK again. Sorry for the issues. What are you guys talking about? Did I miss something? Hmm. Uh, where did you find Pygmaea? How direct is your strain? I will not know until I actually see them. But here's the thing with Pygmaeas. Um, what would they cross with? There's not a lot that they would cross with. So it should be very easy to tell if they're a pure strain or not. Um, so yeah, I don't have like a direct collection point or any type of history on them, but it's a pretty easy fish to see if they're crossed or not. I mean, there's really nothing like them. Uh, can you move a Pleco and eggs and their cave to another tank while he is fanning them or should I wait until they hatch? You can. Um, you know, I would just make sure that the water parameters are the same, which they should be. I don't imagine they would be different if they're in the same water. <laughs> but, yeah, that's the only the only thing I would think about. Uh, Bob, it's a whole thing. Don't worry about it. Is it uh, what what are you guys arguing over what the OOTD stands for? Can you talk about how to conditioning fish to breed well all fish are going to be a little different but if you just want a generalized um, way to condition fish big water changes lots of live high protein foods that's pretty much it uh sean no big deal it's a giveaway i'm not out to anything i'm over it Ooh, what did i miss something juicy is happening in the fish fam and I missed it. See, there you go. Troy backing me up. Live food, fresh water. Yep. Now, it can get a little bit more specific depending on the fish. Um, like some fish, you can trigger breeding with cold water changes, things like that. Uh, Bob, my orange Venezuelans are massive. Awesome. That's a really cool Corydora. I did order... Uh, what did I order? I ordered... 
Barbatus Corridores, and they didn't come in. Uh, what else didn't come in? I ordered something else that didn't come in, but I don't remember what it was. Uh, Gold Spot Wood Cats are coming in. Those are pretty sweet. Uh, Banjo Cats. I don't know why I bought Banjo Cats, but uh, they're pretty freaking awesome, and they're fairly inexpensive. So I bought um, a couple dozen Banjo Cats, and I think they'll be pretty fun because they're pretty cool. I'm obviously not, not, not to breed, but very white music all night. What would a bump on both sides of a rainbow behind a pectoral fin mean? It could mean a lot of things. Really, I mean, it's really hard to say. Um, the thing you want to watch out for is that it's not um, TB, tuberculosis, which can be um, kind of an issue with rainbow fish. But if you're talking about your pseudomagills, um, yeah, I don't, it's it really hard to diagnose something, especially when you're not good at diagnosing things in the first place. I'm definitely not a fish disease expert at all. Far from it. Um, Bob, my orange. Oh, I already got that one. Barry White Music. Bob, any plans to attend ACA this year? Um, I didn't plan on it, but the prices of traveling are getting so cheap that I might. But I don't know. Uh, what surprise fish did you get? Bob Kaler. Aqua Discovery, he bought some Rosie Danios when I first first opened my site. And I think, if I remember correct, I only had like three. And he bought them and he said, you know, when I get more, that he wants to buy more. And uh, I got more and they've sold. And I had, um, um, I don't remember, four, three, four or five just random ones left in the tank. And those are what I gave him. Since he already bought three, he definitely needs more. Come to find out, he probably doesn't have the uh, tank space for it because he bought other Danios. But <laughs> uh, they're really nice fish. I don't plan on selling them anymore, so I just gave them away. Um, and I'm going to be doing that uh, quite a bit here in the near future. Just uh, getting rid of a lot of fish that I'm not going to keep anymore. CJ Black says, my thread fins just arrived. All look great. Active. They're, oh, man. I just saw floating, and I instantly just thought the worst. <laughs> they're floating in the bag. Uh, they're floating in quarantine tank right now. Heat pack is still warm. Thank you, Bob. Yeah, I think I got 10 of them. I think there's 10. Might, maybe 11, maybe 9. I don't know. That was a really long day. Um, Epic Aquarium says, my supplier in Korea called me this morning and just let me know my shipment won't be sent, and he will email me when they start shipping again. I'm over here. Yeah. So dumb. So dumb. Matthew Vargas with the $2 super chat. Hey, look, I saw it. When are the ponds starting and what's the stocking? It really depends on the weather. So I'm getting one of the ponds is definitely going to be Radinocentris or Nautis Siri Creek, which is my favorite rainbow fish. And the nice thing about them is they can go from like 40 degrees to like 100 degrees. So, I mean, not for like extended period of times, but they'll do really well outside. Uh, so as long as... You know, I mean, it's been freezing here all week. Every night it's freezing. So um, it just depends on the weather. I still just have the two big six by four by two feet deep ponds. And um, I'm not going to be buying any new ponds. Uh, well, let me take that back. I'm not going to be buying brand new ponds. I check Craigslist and like Facebook Marketplace um, all the time. So if stuff shows up there cheap, uh, then I will pick them up. But... I'm not going to go and, uh, like, go to, I don't even know where you would go, like Tractor Supply and buy a bunch of new ponds at full price. Although I really, really, really want the 725-gallon tub that's 300 and some dollars, uh, but it's eight feet round. So it's a round pond and then two feet deep. Uh, my dad actually has one and used it for raising trout. Uh, way, 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 way back, hundreds of years ago, when I used to, uh, when I used to, when I was a kid, <laughs> when I used to be a kid. Um, so yeah, they're really fun. They're really cool. Bob, that's a good investment. Only three hundo. Yep, it's not that bad, but the prices went up here recently, and uh, I think they'll probably come back down. I would hope. 
Um, Gary Lang F1s. If we're talking about my Radinocentris or Nautis, it'll be mostly F1s, but there'll be some F2 from the same stock. So, yeah. So I already have. Uh, just take your dad. I've tried. Lord knows I've tried, but he won't give it up. <laughs> yeah, he 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 loves it just as much as I do. It's not going anywhere. Uh, but yeah, they are Gary Lang Radinocentris, uh, Siri Creek. Raised from eggs. So what else am I getting? Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I'm getting some other rainbows, but I don't want to talk about them yet. Um, all in all, it's about $700 worth of rainbows. So that's pretty sweet. Oof. 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 Uh, <laughs> welcome, Barbara. Welcome. The Dreaded Fish Keeper says, hit the likes. Yeah, before you unsubscribe and leave, at least hit the like button, folks. It is. I'm out 3,000 USD on shrimp and shrimp tank supplies. Uh, so not, so basically, you spent three grand, and it's just sitting in a port somewhere for who knows how long. Yeah. I mean, the real tragedy here is that I've lost – my next day delivery from Amazon Prime. I used to be able to order something at night and it would be here at eight in the morning, but now it takes two days. That is the real travesty here, folks. Talk about an inconvenience. People, let's smash the like button for Mr. Bob. Too many people here to only have 31 likes. Um, yeah, I don't even keep the likes up on the screen anymore, so I can't follow it. I don't know why it doesn't show it for me anymore. I can see how many people are here. I can see super chats and members and um, 6.5 messages per minute. Like I can see lots of stuff, but it just doesn't show me likes. It's weird. Uh, I feel so bad for you, Bob. It's a tough life without one day shipping. I know so spoiled. I was spoiled. I mean, I bought a basketball yesterday and it's not even going to be here till tomorrow when it should be here today. It's beautiful outside. It's so sunny. Um, my current basketball went flat. And I just want to go play basketball. You know? I feel like there's probably a market for it since those wusses at the NBA shut down. Maybe I could live stream playing basketball and get some views. Can't watch it anywhere else anymore. <laughs> uh, people are... Because people are... What? Poor, poor day? Poor, what? What is that word? I don't, I don't, I don't know English. People are clogging up the mail order pallets of toilet paper. I'm just, I just assume that there's less people uh, driving for Amazon. Uh, where's the dollar per gallon sale? I came in late. It's at Petco. And then somebody told me that it might be at another pet store, but I don't remember what that pet store is because we don't have any here. Uh, but Petco, uh, 10, 20 tall, 20 long, 29 gallon tanks are dollar per gallon. The, uh, 40, 55, and 75s are half off. You can get a 75-gallon tank for $99 right now. So, Dragon Lair says, good morning, Bob. I'm so tired of being broke and can't order some cool fish for you. Uh, Pet Supplies Plus. There we go. Now, is it actually going on there? I don't know. I can't confirm because I don't have one. So, if there's anyone here who has a Pet Supplies Plus and can confirm... Who is the clown that disliked the video? Grow up, people. This man is taking time out of his schedule. Probably someone with coronavirus. I'm sure there's somebody with coronavirus gave me a thumbs down. <laughs> um, yeah, Pet Supplies Plus, that's where I bought my 40 tanks. There you go. Um, I'm kind of curious what OOTD stands for as well. Bob Kaler was talking about that the other day. And, yeah. I think I missed it. Uh, this is his schedule. <laughs> That's true. That's true. This is my schedule. But I could not do it. I could cancel it. Oh, wait. No, I did cancel it. I, I forgot. We already canceled all future live streams. Yep. I forgot. Dang it. Um, odd Petco isn't showing the sale online. It should be. That's I always buy them online. Um, that's how you can sometimes get them for free is if you buy them online. So like all the 20 gallon tanks I picked up the other day, I might get them for free. 
Um, we'll see. Um, the dislike was there before the stream started. Probably John because he can't get rid of his echo. <laughs> Poor John. Old Johnny boy. Pet Supplies Plus ended the sale March 1st by me. Okay. Okay. Um, elaborate free. You get them for free. How? So I bought them online and you choose, obviously you choose in store pickup and depending on the employee, um, they may or may not actually check them out of their system. Uh, when I went to pick them up, their system was down, so they couldn't actually check them out. So like, I still get the email saying that my tanks are ready for pickup, even though they're already in my garage. Um, and this happened last time, maybe two times ago, um, I went and picked them up and the, and the, the kid that was working there was just like, uh, okay, just go grab them. Like I showed him the receipt on my phone. He's like, okay, I'll go grab them for you and walked them all out to my cart. And then like a week later, they were like, Hey, your tanks are still here, ready to be picked up. And I just ignored it because I already picked them up. I'm like, whatever. I already got them. Stupid Petco. And then, like, a week later, they refunded me all my money. And I was like, what? Well, I'm going to go to this other Petco and buy a bunch more. So that's what happened. Yep. Dang virus gets through the interwebs. Yeah. Yeah. Found it. LOL 10, 29, 29 gallon. Aquion only. A bummer. I was hoping for a bigger one. Well, the bigger ones are still half off. And they don't – their website is absolutely terrible. Um, like, you can go to Petco.com and type in 40-gallon 40, 40 aquarium. And the – Aquarium doesn't show up. It's so stupid. Um, I got to keep on for yeah. Also, when you buy them online and pick up in store, sometimes they give you like ten dollars off a hundred or ten percent off for picking up. Or um, I bought what did I buy? I don't know. I don't know how many twenty gallons I bought. Like five or six, and it sent me a gift card for twenty five dollars off my next purchase. So next time I'll get twenty five dollars off. When I buy them. So, um, also, I don't know. I didn't pay attention if they fixed it, but when you bought online and picked up in store, they didn't charge you the insane sales tax that they charge you in store. So, I don't know if they fixed that. Honestly, I didn't even pay attention uh, when I bought them, but um, it doesn't work for tanks, though. Not always. Not always. But you got to be signed up to be part of the Petco Club and you get the, the exclusive crap. And that stuff sometimes works. Um, so, last time I got $10 off 100 um through one of the petco club member whatever they call it i don't know whatever i'm calling the authorities on you sir i'm sure they got much bigger fish to fry i didn't do anything wrong what did i do wrong i didn't steal them they gave them to me a big difference um, Charles says, I got an extra week for spring break and all the students have to leave campus at home now. So the silver lining is I can do a lot more with my fish. Um, boy, that new war zone, Charles, that is confusing as F. I tried that the other day and I didn't know what the heck was going on. People are spawning on top of me, constantly flying down out of the sky. It was mayhem, mayhem. I'm sure you've tried it, but jeez. It was, uh, it was a lot. There was a lot going on. It was crazy. Uh, it would be nice if we could get the dollar per pound sale here in the UK. Yep. Outfit of the day. I heard outfit of the day, but I'm like, that can't be right. I mean, obviously it fits the acronym, but really? Sean outfit of the day. Owner of the dwellers. <laughs> See, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. Um, can't even play. My PC is stuck at school. Oh, it's so like, who is messaging me? Who is messaging me? Hey. Good morning. I am currently live streaming. Smiley face. forget to exit that out of the deep yeah there's got to be something better than outfit of the day 
I mean, maybe because I don't have like daily outfits. I just wear the same hoodie all day, every day, 365 days a year. I try whatever I can keep him happy since he is my stepson and his father wants nothing to do with him. Whoa, what are we talking about? Things just got serious here real fast. Um, Jeez. I heard it on Dan's stream. Until Sean actually says it means outfit of the day, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think it means something else. Let's uh let's let's Google it. Let's Google it. Okay, I'm back. I was memorized by my new fish. Well, I'm glad. Um, let me just check my my email here first. But I'm pretty sure I had 100%. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whew. Got some new emails. None of them are for DOAs though. So, a hundred percent. Live arrival this week. Um, OOTD is outfit of the day. Yeah, I, yep, yep, yep. But until Sean tells me it means outfit of the day. Outside often touching D's. Dang, Sean, is that what it means? Whew. Yikes. What does OOTD mean? Out of. Ooh, yikes. Alpha, I mean, yeah, outfit of the day. We get it. I don't. I want something else. Uh oh. Uh, it can also be used in reference of being. Jeez. Come on, guys. Come on. Trendy term. Is it? Oh, is it? Is this outfit of the day? Is this really like a trendy thing? That's what it, the internet tells me. One of these days, out of the darkness, out of the dust, one of those days, out of the dryer. Jeez. Hmm. Hmm. Definitely not outfit of the day. The last t-shirt I bought, three of the same shirt. <laughs> oh, man. I just got a sweet t-shirt in the mail the other day. Yes, beauty and fashion YouTubers do outfit of the day all the time. Well, Sean himself says that his OOTD does not mean outfit outfit of the day. So, yes. To everyone else, it means outfit of the day, though. So, you are all correct. Uh, yes, beauty fashion. Endless meanings. It sounds like we're too old to keep up with today's kids' lingos. Yep. Out of the decade. Yeah. Seriously, Matthew, what? What? Um, I like owners of the dwellers. Yeah, Bob, how is Jimmy starting a new podcast and gave up on your podcast? What gives? Nah, he doesn't like me anymore. Yep. That podcast is probably dead. <clears throat> Wasn't really a podcast, though, was it? Just a couple dudes live streaming? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know what's going on with it. But, yeah, it's probably over. Sad, sad days. He said the of the is correct. It will forever be a mystery. Um, KG Cichlid says, Bob's almost at 40,000 subs. If you haven't subbed by some weird chance, hit the sub button. Um... I think that's true. 39.9K subscribers. You know, if I didn't piss everyone off all the time, I'd probably be over 40K by now, but I am's who I am's. And let's see. Uh, Yeah, actually, the owner of the dweller is more, uh, more than what I... Oh, so you like owner of the dweller is more than what it actually means. <laughs> Bob, I'm going to send you your hat for 40K. Oh, I forgot about the hat. I completely forgot about the hat. Okay. All right. Let me check something there real quick. So, I mean, what else do we got going on here, guys? Every, the world is closing down. We're going to have lots of time to spend with our fish. Um, somebody just sent me an email asking if I'm shipping fish. That I am. 
I am shipping fish. Not that that person is in the live stream, but at least I can say I answered your question if I ever email if I never email you back. Uh, that's one of the things. That's one of the things I love about this stream. Uh, what? Uh, pissing people off is part of your charm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's not like I do it on pur purpose. It's just who I am. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be some fake douche. Uh, replacing the window motor assembly in my Jeep today. Oh, those are pretty easy though. Um, yeah, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. I've done a few of those on various vehicles. I can't imagine a Jeep being very hard. Uh, owner of the owner of the dwellers was fitting. Do tell. What did you intend it to mean, Tiffany White? I don't think he's ever gonna say. I feel like if he was gonna say, he would have said by now. And I, I don't know that we could peer pressure him into it. He doesn't really seem like someone that would give in to peer pressure. And either should you. Nobody should. Never give in to peer pressure. Uh, Dragon Lair, what's up, buddy? Uh, I'm heading out to work to deal with my probably infected customers for six hours. Eh. Eh. Chances are you've already been infected and your body took care of it naturally anyways. Bob, can you start a Ramshorn snail breeding project? Ramhorns are so expensive on eBay and my LFS... I got so many of them. Um, pond snails. Like, I don't understand why it's, they're expensive. I mean, you could literally buy like one and then have like a million in a month. Uh, Bob, would you or anyone else, oh wait, Bob, would you or anyone like some water wisteria? Um, I have was too, uh, you have too much and don't want to just toss it. I'd rather give it to people and help them with their planted tanks. Um, I mean, if it's a lot, like a lot, lot, a lot, 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 maybe. Water with Syria is pretty sweet. Hi, Bob. I need some cherry shrimp for profit. Do you think I could put a pair of L144A Pleco in there to breed as my LFS wants me to breed them? Uh, it's for a planet tank with just shrimp. As long as they're not um, swart, uh, swarp, sword, sword plants. Jeez, why was that so hard? Uh, that's what she said. Uh, as long as they're not sword plants, you'll do. They'll do just fine. Um, they will eat sword plants, but if yeah, if there's other plants in there, uh, they won't harm the shrimp. It'll be it'll be perfect. Opinion of the day. See, see now that that sounds good. If it's actually guessed, I'll say, but otherwise it will remain a mystery. Um, <sighs> fiance and I just postponed our wedding to next year because we have older people and some with compromised immune systems that don't want to be traveling. That makes, I mean, that makes sense. Bob, you didn't, Bob, didn't you already have the worst flu ever a couple months ago? You already had it and are now immune. I mean, it could have been. The coronavirus has been here in Seattle for a couple months already. I wouldn't say it was the worst flu, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't even know if it was the flu because I don't go to the doctors. Who needs doctors? Pfft. Overpriced, overrated. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, my roommate, he was he had the flu like a month ago. That could have been coronavirus. Who knows? I have some 24 karat white clouds that are looking ready to breed, but I think they're eating their eggs. Sounds like you need some water wisteria. <laughs> uh, I sell blue leopard, pink, brown, and a couple types of trumpet snails. Um, yeah, there's definitely cheaper places. Well, I, actually, I don't know. I, I guess I just assume that snails are cheap because they're so easy. Um, most people would end up killing them all because they don't want them. Um, but still 50 cents for a ram's horn to me is overpriced. Uh, these things should be like 15 cents. Uh, what? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I have Microsoft by the thousands. MTS multiple tank syndrome. You have thousands. Um, Epic Aquarium says, how about selling or donating Wisteria to a fish club, a swap or auction? Um, so the thing is, is like, 
with plants like wisteria that grow so insanely fast, uh, it's usually not an option. At least in my area, um, where we we have like one fish club, and they already canceled their next meeting, which actually would have been uh, last Tuesday. But well, they didn't cancel it. The place that the meeting is held closed down, and they're like, "Nope, you guys can't come here because you're all gonna die." Um, but yeah, so we didn't have our m monthly meeting this week, this month. Uh, so anyways, back to like some water wisteria, um, like floating plants, things like that, that just grow so insanely fast. A lot of it, I mean, people pull out like five gallon buckets all the time and just throw them away. There's just nothing you can do. You can't sell them fast enough. You, I mean, really. Uh, sorry, do you know how big the L44A will need to be to breed? I've been breeding cherry shrimp for a couple of years, and they're doing great. Love your channel. Watching from the UK. Uh, probably like three. If I just had to like a roundabout guess, three inches, three and a half inches. Um, Candy, I got an interview on Monday. For where? For what? What's what? Uh, Epic Quorum says, I have no fish club by me. The LFS wants it, but I refuse to have them charge $9.99 per stem when they're not telling people how to take care of it. Uh, Wisteria is a great beginner plant. It was the first live plant I kept. Um, interview on Monday. Freaking woo. Where? Uh, I sent Pam a freezer bag full of Wisteria for free. Yeah. Wisteria, like, sometimes I buy it and it grows like crazy. And then sometimes I buy it and it dies within a week. Now, finally, being an anti-social hermit is paying off. Hmm. Are there any other swap or places people sell trade besides GSAS meetings? Richard, there is a North Sound Aquarium Society that started, I believe, last year. Um, let me look it up. Um, a great group of people, really cool people. Uh, it's just really small right now. North Sound Aquarium Society. Yeah, I don't know if you have Facebook, but it is North Sound Aquarium Society. And let's look at their events. Nothing new scheduled. Um, and I th I'm pretty sure they meet bi-weekly. bi weekly. Bi by, why am I, why do I keep saying weekly, uh, by monthly, but yeah, North sound aquarium society. Otherwise not a whole lot. If you're way down South, there's the Portland one. Um, there used to be swap meets, but no one really does those anymore. So maybe post a sign at your local pet store on their entryway wall board for plants or snails. Um, I'll check it out. Yep. North Sound Aquarium Society. Good bunch of people. Do you know how many inches of depth is recommended for plants? I'm going with e Eco Complete Black Variant. Um, oh boy. A lot of that is, um, like personal preference. Uh, some people will say like one inch. I like, like two to four inches. I like deeper, deeper substrates. So, um, just requested to join. Awesome. Um, I don't, I'm pretty sure that I don't have access to do anything about that, but someone will get you. Someone will get you soon. Um, so me, I like two to four inches. Three inches is like my kind of like my preference. But yeah, a lot of people will say like one inch and that's just not fun for me. It's harder to make plants stay in the substrate when you're first planting them. And yeah, it's cheaper though. I have a bunch of wisteria also. It grows really fast in one tank. I cut it and put it in the guppy tank, and it dies away in a week or two. Yep. Well, I'll tell you one thing, though, that it really has nothing to do with water wisteria. is guppy grass. That crap survived all winter out in my pond. I thought for sure it would freeze off, um, and the ponds have frozen over multiple times for a week at a time. And completely, like, completely frozen over. And the stuff is still out there alive. I don't get it. Not guppy grass. Did I say guppy grass? I meant um, uh, the floating plant. 
that I'm just drawing a blank on. Uh, did I did I say guppy grass? I probably said guppy grass. I have a lot of guppy grass. I have that in almost all my tanks. Uh, why am I drawing a blank on the most annoying floating plant ever? Jeez. I am a dummy. Duckweed. There we go. Duckweed. Gosh. Always draw those blanks. Yes, duckweed. Survived all winter. It's insane. Insane. I don't know how it's still alive. It's really annoying. <sighs> I thought I would get a fresh start this year with no duckweed, but duckweed it is. Oh, I gotta adjust. Right there. Uh, yeah. So, oh, and what am I putting? So I answered half of your question, Matthew. I haven't decided what I'm putting in the other pond yet. So one pond is the rads, and then I haven't decided. I thought about doing like white clouds or guppies or endlers, but I don't want to end up with a million of any of those. Um, so I'm maybe, I'm thinking maybe a different type of rainbow, but I haven't decided. Maybe like the the Herbert, the yellow, um, the the turquoise. I like the I like the idea of doing turquoise because they can get pretty cold, and you know, in case the weather goes bad. But turquoise, um, they're not like the most popular. So if I end up with like a thousand of those in the fall, that could be trouble. Yellows are really popular though, are really popular, and they can go colder, but not as cold as like a turquoise. I can grow plants, but I can't get duckweed or red root floaters to stay alive. Um, <laughs> that sounds like a good problem to me. Doing some super red bristlenose colony is what I'm doing next. Uh, by the way, duckweed is undefeated, bruh. <laughs> you could clean out a whole tank. I know I'm, I'm swapping over all my acrylic tanks for glass tanks. And the goal is all my acrylic tanks have duckweed. No duckweed in the glass tanks. The problem is is half of my glass tanks already have duckweed. So it's just a matter of time. Even if I was successful in making the swap, it's only just a matter of time. Some net is going to have one little sprig of root on it, something, and I'm going to cross-contaminate. People here are freaking out for nothing. Wait, what? Uh, no food to buy at all the shops are empty. Oh, yep. Yeah. It's so stupid, right? So dumb. Uh, I wish I had duckweed. Oof. Um, I'll buy the tanks if you deliver to them. I think Bob Vance is getting all the tanks. Last I heard. He's already got some of them. And um, last I heard, he still wants the rest of them. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting rid of those ugly, disgusting blue acrylic tanks but they're really awesome bob you should still buy them um but yeah bob what would you pay for a 240 if it was brand new how much would you shell out on an acrylic tank of that size um man brand new i, I honestly have no idea i couldn't even tell you the last time i looked at pricing on a brand new tanks um my 240 gallon i want to say was like two or three hundred bucks um brand new they're probably like a couple thousand i would imagine um on, yeah honestly i don't i would never buy a tank that size new um because i don't have that kind of money to spend on a tank <laughs> i'm gonna have to start digging up worms in my backyard if lfs runs out of fish food uh yeah people are gonna start eating fish food i don't it's just stupid it doesn't make any sense to me uh yeah sorry matthew i i mean I have, I have no idea. I have no idea. My tanks with a lot of flow on top of the water don't have duckweed. See, I've tried that. People are like, if you want to get rid of your duckweed, just put high flow on the surface. Um, and so I literally drop the level down. So all the hang on back filters, it's on a 125 gallon tank, my 125 gallon with all the nano fish in it. Um, it so there's two hang on back filters 
and the water's low, so that splashes around. And then I have an 800 gallon per hour power head, like three inches below the water, pointing like almost straight up. And the duckweed is just like surrounded, like the whole top is duckweed, and it's like surrounded. There's like this massive ball like this on the intakes of the hang on back filters of duckweed. Um, it's so annoying. It didn't work. I find the key is splash. Uh, it's like white water in that tank. The fish hate me, and there's still duckweed everywhere. It's thick. Um, I heard duckweed doesn't like to be wet on top. Yeah, so I was hoping that like lowering the level and all the splashing would help with that. And you know exactly. So, I mean, people say spray the top with water bottle. That didn't work. Um, yeah. You know, I could vacuum it out with a shop vac, but the problem is that there's shrimp in there and they hang upside down on it. So I don't want to vacuum up shrimp either. Uh, honestly, I can't keep duckweed alive. <laughs> duckweed, to me, is the real coronavirus, people. Yep. Somehow plants still grow under the mat of duckweed. Hard to explain how that works, but plants still thriving under duckweed. Um, yeah, I mean, it's all about lighting, so obviously enough light is penetrating. And the lighting is also coming in, you know, ambient lighting from the side probably helps. Uh, tap water chemicals over time keep adding up to toxic levels because salt mixes already have what is needed and utilized by sulfur pets. It adds extra water. Change top off. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Uh, somehow plants will grow. I got that one. Have you tried spraying it with distilled water and a little bit of vinegar? Um, I've had some success with it. Never thought about that. Um, I do need to buy some more vinegar. So, hmm. I wonder if hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide would work. I'd much rather use hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to have to try that. I bought eight 20 gallon tanks yesterday. I put water in them in the driveway. Today, two leaked and one blew out. Um, yeah, I had a 10 gallon leak in the last dollar per gallon sale. Um, so, yeah, definitely watch them never heard of that trick yeah me either that's pretty cool uh who was the idea for the green screen background ohio fish rescue talked about it a while ago what do you mean idea who was the idea it was my idea i mean i've been doing it for like three years i mean i'm not the first to do a green screen but like I wanted to do a green screen, so I did it. So does that make it my idea? I don't know how it works. Did you return the tanks? Um, yeah, Clay. I'm sure Clay is going to return them. I returned the 10-gallon and got a new one for sure. Um, yeah. I think you have like six months or something like that. Bob, I think you need a new tank build for your channel. Um Eventually, I bought a bunch of supplies yesterday for a new, um, I don't want to call it a terrarium, more like a paludarium. So I'm going to make a paludarium pretty soon here. A comb works great for getting duckweed off the top. Mark Shrimp had the idea. Yeah. But there's a lot. And it's just going to come back. It's always going to come back. My year-old grommy, which was three inches, was doing somersaults. Sometimes, wait, sometimes other than that, it looks normal. Is it dying? Uh, I have no idea. Sorry. Sorry. Um, I can't diagnose fish stuff over the internet. It's really hard without pictures or anything like that. Uh, whatever happened to the 40-gallon rimless that you got? It's still just sitting in my garage waiting to find its forever home. I'm probably never going to use it. Um, and I think I'm going to end up posting it for sale pretty soon. Oh, who is texting me? I'm live streaming. Dang it. Come on. Um, oh, hello, Nisi. I feel like you need a cup of coffee before trying to find the word duckweed. I feel like you're correct, Nisi. Uh, unfortunately, I don't drink coffee. <laughs> I've never had a cup of coffee in my life. And I'm not about to change now. What is this? Threat level midnight. Um, why are you saying Trevor so much? What happened? 
so yeah, the 40 gallon rim list, I'll probably post it for sale pretty soon. Um, I'm giving away a lot of my uh, rimless nano tanks that I have. Um, I'm giving away two of them on Saturday, hopefully. I'm doing a fish room tour on Saturday, hopefully. Last time I checked, I was still on for that. You need a friend with lots of cichlids. I give all my duckweed. There, there's just so much of it. It's in every single tank. I, I mean, it would take like a week of just scooping it out. And by the time I got, by the time I got to the last tank, it would already be full again on the first tank. So, yeah. Um, you were supposed to get that later. Oh. <laughs> I just saw it flashing. I have it on silent, but I saw it flashing, so I looked. I looked. Uh, green hair, algae, and black beard are my sworn enemies. Duckweeds. Eat. I would take hair algae and black beard algae any day over duckweed because that stuff is super easy to get rid of. Insanely easy. Um, duckweed, it just always comes back. I hate it. I save up all my duckweed over the winter to feed my goldfish pond in the summer. Yeah, I don't know. People are like, oh, just get a goldfish, let it eat it all, and then give it back to the pest store. I'm like, I'm not going to do that. That's not really my thing. Feed it to the turtles and goldfish. Um, I do have a turtle, but I don't think you guys understand just how much there is. <laughs> if it was just, if l listen, if I had like six tanks, then it would be easy. It would be super easy. I could just net it all out. It would take n hardly any time. But I, I have like 50 tanks full of duckweed. And like the priority is as much as it's annoying and as much as I hate it, I just got other stuff that I need to be doing instead of getting rid of duckweed. And it, it just needs to go away. I should just do I should just do like a blackout for like a year. A year-long blackout. It would probably still live though. How do you easily get rid of hair algae? You manually remove it and then fix the reason that you're getting hair algae, uh, which is usually not enough water changes and overfeeding. So feed less. Um, hair algae is really easy to get to pull out. It's really easy. And then you do more water changes and then you feed less and it'll usually go away. Um, how to kill blackbeard algae? Hydrogen peroxide is absolutely amazing. It will get rid of blackbeard algae 100% of the time. Now, if you have a big piece of wood that's covered in black hair, blackbeard algae, take the whole piece of wood out, get a spray bottle, spray it with hydrogen peroxide, let it sit there for about five minutes, uh, and then put it back in the aquarium. Um, or if you just have a little bit, you can get a pipette and you can spot treat it in the aquarium. Um, yeah, it's, it's really easy. There's lots and lots and lots of videos on YouTube. Um, so yeah, just, I would just look it up on YouTube. Uh, I might even have one. I don't know. I probably don't, but, um, I don't, I know aqua pros has one and yeah, I mean, they're everywhere on YouTube. It's, it's blackbeard algae is like the best algae in the world as far as nuisance algaes, because it is very easy to get rid of. Uh, had a second hatching of zebra plecos last week. Got eight new babies hanging out under a log. The two years of grow out was definitely worth the wait. Yep, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, seriously though, just do more water changes. Comb the duckweed out. Spray it down when filling. And wait. And don't feet. Feet? Feed the tank for a month or so. Or get java moss. Java moss. Um... Uh, I could do jungle val. Jungle val will kill duckweed uh, for me. I have tried this experience multiple times. Experiment. And uh, jungle val will kill duckweed. It just takes a while. So depending on the amount of duckweed, um, any tank I have that has jungle val in it has zero duckweed. It will kill it. I melted some Anubias trying to get rid of BBA. Be sure to rinse the H2O2 um, quickly enough. Yeah. So if you have... Blackbeard algae on your plants, I'd be very careful um, about dosing it directly onto your plants because you can nuke your plants as well. So if you're if you're doing the spray bottle method, yeah. So I did make a video of it, and in that video, 
you see me spray the plants you gotta you gotta rinse it off like almost immediately don't let it sit there for any amount of time um rinse it off immediately or you will kill your plants Honestly, I couldn't remember if I actually made a, a video on it, but now I remember the video perfectly. Um, Candy always on her game. Yep, 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 yep. So I don't really, really require my mods to do anything here. Um, sometimes, Nisi, I do ask. <laughs> Very seldomly do I ask my mods to do anything. And if you're a mod on this channel, I definitely don't expect you to do anything. So... Um, I've tried to get Candy to stop modding on my channel, but she just won't do it. I'm like, look, just relax. Don't work. Just relax. Enjoy the stream. Hang out with fish nerds. But she won't do it. She won't not link links. <sighs> Candy is going to need profit sharing soon. I, I mean, I, I did pay her once for her services. So... I mean, there's that. You can make money as a mod. And it's a lot. It's so much. Actually, as a joke, I PayPal'd her a dollar and said thank you for your work today or something like that. <laughs> as a joke. <laughs> yeah, I'm a douche. Um, Katie's going to need profit. Good, because I'm a terrible mod. Yeah. So, if, I mean, I don't even really mod people here anymore because, I don't know, if we get a troll, I can easily just be like, oh, look. We have a troll. Boom. See? See how quick that was? Yep. And then, uh, yeah, so I can usually just take care of it. Um, yeah, I followed that video, but I'm fortunate enough to talk to Bob while doing so. Could you redo the BBA to clarify the spring? Um, I don't think I currently have any plants that have blackbeard algae on them hmm no I don't I don't think I do um I followed that video but fortunate enough to talk to Bob while doing so um yeah so I'm trying to think I didn't mean to time him out. I actually, uh, Matthew, <laughs> I actually tried to ban Matthew so I could just unban him real quick, but now I timed him out so I can't do anything. I can't undo it for five minutes. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Sorry I timed you out. I meant to ban you. <laughs> um, I'll mail you some. All right. Um, Yeah. I, meant, I, I I apologize, Matthew. I meant to ban you because I can immediately undo a ban, but I don't have a way to um, unmute you <laughs> for five minutes. Oh, that's rough. I'm pretty sure I still have your address. Uh, yeah, I mean, P.O. Box 829, Marysville, Washington, 98270. P.O. Box 829, send me all your coronavirus. I've already had it. I'm immune. I don't know. Whatever. Um, I will say CJ Black. CJ Black says, poor Matthew. His super chats don't get read, and he gets timed out. I did read his super chat today. It took me uh, about 30 minutes to answer it, but I did read it. So we're making improvements, you know? Good, good, good positive things are happening around the channel. We're improving. We're getting better. <laughs> Candy has timed me out before. It was the longest five minutes of my life. Five minutes is a long time. I don't think it should be five minutes. I think a timeout should be like a minute, maybe two minutes. Because really, the point of the timeout is to get people to stop spamming. So it doesn't need to be five minutes. But what do I know? Well, at least you saw it this time. Yeah, that was crazy. I don't know what was. I don't know what was happening. I blame YouTube and not me. Because I wasn't seeing him at all. Um, Against the Flow says, LOL, much love, all you fish fam folks. I'm just lurking. 
Um, Candy timed me out. I don't know what stream it was on uh, a couple weeks ago. Timed me out, too, so. Uh, you can adjust the timeout, right? No, you cannot adjust the timeout. Nope. It is five minutes. Um, no adjusting it. I'll get back to you kind of kind of bust at the moment. Um, I'll get back to you kind of bust. I don't know what that means. Has it been five minutes yet? Oh, five minutes is so long. I should check. He probably unsubscribed, un uncanceled his membership, left me a thumbs down. Um, so what else we got going on, guys? We're almost done here. Candy timed me out a couple weeks ago as well. Um, Facebook muted. Timeout is 15 minutes, I believe. Ooh, that's pretty harsh. Does anyone, does anyone actually live stream on Facebook, though? Is there anyone doing that? Like, I know people do it, but are, is there any fish people doing it? Um, who was it? It's child. <laughs> yeah. Um, Kala, Kayla, Kala, Aquatic Ma, um, yeah, her child got a hold of her phone and was banning everyone, everyone. They live on Instagram? Yeah, I don't know what the deal with Instagram is. I would never go live on Instagram. I don't know. Uh, Frankie fan says, check you guys out later. Going to pick up some acrylic paint for my new 29 gallon and some eco complete. I would get two bags myself, but you could, if you want a thin layer, one bag is going to be really thin. So I'll get two bags. Good to see you as well. Okay. I ended up booking the Hyatt for Chicago. There is a dog hair on my microphone. Is that the one I'm staying at? I don't remember. I wonder, um, I would I would say you should buy pay the little extra for the refundable. Don't don't buy non refundable tickets because you never know what's gonna happen. You never know how bad this massive overreaction is gonna get. But I would imagine by October, uh, people will have their minds back and won't be so loony over the flu. That's what I need to do. Paint three twenty longs. Yep. I was at Home Depot for like an hour yesterday. And uh, I did get some paint to paint all the new tanks I got. That's what I'll be doing. Um, if this sun stays out all day, that's what I'm doing today, painting tanks. Zenzo does like 10 or 15 minutes here or there, and it's, what I, and it's like what a member's video would be type content. Um, yeah, I, I suppose. Ban me, Bob. Um, boom, roasted. Yeah, unless I can find a ride, I'm skipping Aquashella, Chicago. Uh, I think that's going to be the good one to go to. So I'm kind of concerned about the Dallas Aquashella now. Already booked my hotel and bought the tickets. I mean, that's still, what, a month away? Surely people will be back to normal within a month. I mean, if people are still overreacting this bad in a month, then we're going to have some problems. Uh, dude that worked for the Center of Disease Control Prevention Infection Disease was on Joe Rogan a few days ago. Said 3.5 to 4 million Americans will die from the coronavirus. That's just stupid. That's just stupid. Um, and that everyone will eventually get it. Um, yeah, that's just stupid. My boss is sick, so I can't take off time to go to a funeral. I swear people are overacting too much. It's not even in this state. Bro, I finally caught you live again. What's up, fish nerd? Um, yeah, it's been a while. Been a while. Lisa KG Tropicals has been banned. My boss is sick, so I can't take off time. How, how does that even correlate, though, Nisi? Oh, because your, your boss is not going to be there to cover for you being gone. That makes sense. Been out of the corporate world so long, I just don't even uh, don't even uh, know what know what to make of that. If it happens, that's still less than one percent of the population, and would be almost all old people. <laughs> yeah, old people. <laughs> Get out of here. Shoot. <laughs> old people are lame. Um, I'm just kidding, folks. Uh, I I don't. 
It's stupid. It's stupid. Um, if it happens, yeah. Um, I'm not buying it. It's been in Seattle for like two months. Why aren't people dropping dead yet? Really? Um, and, and all the people that are creating mass hysteria are doing way more damage than the actual flu will do. So, anyways. Uh, um, just here to spread the mass hysteria. Exactly. Exactly. Like the people that are on Facebook posting like 100 million times a day about it, you're part of the problem. You're part of the problem. You're not helping at all. All the canceling of everything is super premature. I can't go to the parade outside, but I can still sit in a crowded airport at the DMV. <laughs> crowded airport or the DMV. <laughs> yep. Uh, the virus made it to Ottawa. Apparently, LOL, I'd be safe with my hermit ways, but I have two nurses and a dental assistant in the family. Yeah. They're acting like it's Ebola or SARS or they're actually acting. They're acting like it's the Black Plague. I mean, let's be real. It's it's not helping at all. <sighs> I'm guessing you're going to start seeing. Oh, I don't even know. Nah, I'm not even going to talk about it. Not even going to talk about it. But I know I already know what's going to happen. I can already see it. It's already started. Um, not everyone gets it and gets sick. So once you get it, uh, you won't get it again. I'm sure I just butchered that sentence, but yeah. They just canceled my daughter's Girl Scout weekend next week. Girls have been looking forward for it a year. Forward to it for a year. <sighs> Matthew probably left. He should be able to talk about it. Uh -huh. SARS was a coronavirus. So was MERS. MERS. I'm 54 and not scared. I drink Corona for breakfast. Yeah. I don't know why anyone would be. Let's be honest. Um, The SFAS meeting last month was canceled too. Why? Why? I'm curious if Matthew Vargas is still here though. <laughs> oh, man. Do I know how to treat my members or what? Guys, you should become a member. Yep. Um, let's see. Hey, say something in chat. Honestly, the biggest fear is unknown. Some family or viruses that is SARS or MRSA. Let's say I'm calling cold. Yep, yep. V stag. Hey, glad we got fish tuber streams. What's up, V stag? What's up, buddy? Um, all I can do is survive for three months without leaving my house. Uh, there we go. Am I banned yet? All right. That's interesting, though. So when I ban a moderator, it also unmoderates them. All right. Uh, do you get a notification if someone unmembers? Uh, no. You have to pay attention to the list. It doesn't tell you when people unmember. You just have to pay attention. And then when they unmember, I add them to the list. Oh. You just made the list. You are not membered. No, I don't pay attention. I pay attention to the number, but not to the people. I don't have the memory for that. <laughs> There's different strains, so you can get different strains. Uh, what? Sure to stay clear of a doctor's office for a while. Opium of the day. OOTD. We're back to that. Opium of the day. <laughs> I think the speaker was scared to come to San Francisco as there were two cases nearby. I think it's probably a lot more. I mean, think of all the people that are getting sick and, and not going to the doctor and just getting better. <laughs> Eat some chicken noodle soup. <laughs> Stay hydrated. And, uh, you know, get better. <sighs> yeah, the, the, it's going to be an interesting couple months. See how bad people really freak out. All the idiots. Um, to become a member and get timed out by Bob, there is the link. There is the link. All I know is I can survive three months. Okay. All right. Let's, let's not get too sidetracked here. If we get too sidetracked. I'm really going to start pissing people off here, folks. 
Uh, I read that it was like what they were talking about. Hell, well, no, not opium of the day. Um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to the cheap travel. If you know, I mean, the prices are already dropping, but it's gonna be pretty sweet. I'm already like have. Oh, I already have like a list of like six places I want to go. I mean, a hundred dollar round trip airfares. That's insane. I wonder if Canada will close land. I already heard that they're shutting down the borders. I think they're already shutting down the borders. Uh, if you're sick, stay home. If you're at risk, old, immunocompromised, stay home. Regardless, wash your hands. Anything else is silly panic. Yep. Um. There's different strains. Yeah, 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 yeah. Truck drivers are getting hit hard. No freight. Um, I'm doing my part. I'm still buying stuff on Amazon. I'm still trying to uh, <laughs> get my stuff in under a day. <laughs> um, also, buy stock now while it's low. Yep. Been loading up every day. Uh, when this rebounds, people, it's going to be insane. If you're not buying stocks right now, uh, you should be. Don't buy toilet paper. Invest. And don't invest in toilet paper. If you want to invest in Johnson & Johnson, that's what you should be buying. Not toilet paper, the company that makes the toilet paper. Come on. Come on, people. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. You won't regret it. When the mass hysteria goes, goes away, it's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. Uh, when, the oil, when the oil trade wars, whatever, when all that is over, yep. Oil is dirt cheap right now. Dirt, 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 dirt cheap. Buy oil. Um, good idea. Buy low, sell high. I mean, I mean, really, you could not know anything about the stock market right now and make money. Like, my, my dead grandma is making money in the stock market right now, and she's dead. So, come on, people. Don't spend $1,000 on a new phone. Don't spend waste money on shit you don't need. Invest and think about your future. Uh, can't get him to respond, Curtis. Is Matthew back yet? <laughs> um, can we do an at? Has anyone tried that? At? He's still in chat, so he's still here. All right. Must not have got too offended. <laughs> uh, we won't ever see over $100 bill. I'm sure we will. Uh, your dead grandma does more than most living people. Yeah, yeah. Well, she can breed a pistos too. A pisto cockatoides. Um, I am not ignoring you. I re-modded you. Um, <sighs> boring. I went to this live stream to get away from the Corona talk. Yeah, yep. And guess what? You're boring me. You're you're boring me. Get out of here. Ha! See? Oh. Wait, it says I got it first. It says I got it first. Uh, but it still gave credit to you. Dang it. All right. Maybe I'm not fast enough. Uh, um, I did at Matthew Vargas. Yeah, he's still here. He's a good dude. He can take a joke. He's not one of these namby pambies. He can take a joke. Um so we really, yeah. I am going to check. I'm waiting for my Petco to get restocked because I need more 20 gallon tanks. Long five minutes. I know, he's still banned. Still banned. Uh, I saw Oregon to Hawaii flights for 150 bucks. Yes, round trip to Hawaii for me right now is $300. When did you say the Pygmaeus would be available out of quarantine? I didn't. Uh, they should be here today. I don't even know if they're going to be alive. So, actually, they should have been here by now. I've been kind of waiting. Um, yeah, actually. Guaranteed 10 a.m. Ship, ship, shipment uh, arrival time. It's 1020. Uh, honestly, Aqua Discovery, I don't know what I'm going to do with the Pygmaeus. I actually... Um, you know, I kind of bought them for myself, but uh, <laughs> um, I'll probably keep half of half of them for myself and then um, sell the other half, depending uh, if they survive. So 
you never really know with these with this uh it's a new fish i've never ordered them before um so it, i mean it could be another kamaka rainbow disaster that i've ordered kamakas five times and they've died every single time doesn't matter who i order order them from um i've tried different vendors but every time i buy them they die so hopefully it doesn't turn out to be like the kamaka rainbows and i bought kamakas again today um or not today, but this week. I'm going to try something new as far as trying to get keep them alive. Um, but we'll see. So, oh. I hear dog barks. Are my fish here now? I didn't hear a truck, though. Hmm. Uh, PetSmart needs to get on the dollar per gallon bandwagon. They don't have the dollar per gallon, but they will price match. Um, sometimes they don't have Aquion tanks and they won't price match it because that's not the same brand. But my PetSmart does. So it could just be up to your local PetSmart. I don't think this is my fish. Let me go see. There's three boxes of fish here. That's way too many fish. I've never got three boxes of fish before. I'm sitting in a parking lot with windows open with this silly music blasting. People are looking at me like I'm an idiot. Well, you know, that happens. We're going to unbox. I can't, the, my camera's stationary. I can't move it. But I will show you. I don't know how I ended up with three boxes of fish. But we'll see. Your pet smart won't match. Well, you got some bad pet smarts. All right. Now these boxes are insanely cold and the heat pack is wet. So it is cold. Not starting off good. There's a toilet paper emoji. That's nice. All right. So, um, uh, here are some wood cats. They are very faded in color. There you go. I don't know where I'm going to put all this stuff, but. Those are the wood cats. Uh, well, see, here you go. Look at that. There's a whole bag of dead fish. It looks like there's a couple alive in there. 
just like I thought. This box is way too cold. Um, so that's interesting. They said they didn't have any Queen Arabesque Plecos, but there they are. They're actually alive. So that's interesting. Okay. Here's another box of dead rainbows. There you go. Another box, another bag. Looks like three alive in that one. And that's one box. That box is a pretty good size too. Let's try the next box. Uh, whoa, these are bigger than I thought they would be. Here are Banjo Cats. They look to all be alive. Um, this actually... One heat pack, which is not enough. But this heat pack is dry and it's warm. So... Hopefully, we do a little better in this box. Uh, hey, Kamaka Rainbows, and they are alive. Can't really see them. Not the best to be doing this on a green... Well, I guess I can't make a video about this. An unboxing video now, right? Um, more Banjo Catfish. As I'm getting this all over my keyboard. <clears throat> they all look alive. So that's good. Uh, what else we got? What is this? A bag of three. Oh, these are my female Centeniensis rainbows. Alive and well. Another bag here. I am making an, an unboxing video. Ooh, the Pygmaeas. These guys are way bigger than I expected. These are adult Pygmaeas. All right. Guess who's going to start breeding these right away? Yeah. Matthew, your Kamaka rainbows are here. Another bag of Pygmaeas. And one of the males is flashing right now in the bag. So he's ready to go right now. He's like, come on, ladies. Let's get it on. Uh, I'll move this box onto the last box. So glad those females live. Yeah, man. The Goiter, Riv the Goiter, River, uh, Goiter River rainbows were huge, too. That's very unfortunate. There should be more Kamakas, though. There should be more Kamakas. Obviously, we're going to be ending the stream right after this so I could save the few remaining Goiter Rivers. Wow, there's only three bags in this box. More Kamakas. Matthew Vargas, where you at, buddy? Maka rainbows. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. You can see the other rainbow fish swimming through the bags. Green screen. This is really good for the green screen, isn't it? Um, oh, the heat pack is below it and not warm. Uh, looks like more Kamaka rainbows. More Kamaka. I told you guys I ordered a lot of Kamaka rainbows. And this is probably another bag of Kamakas. Yeah. So how many bags of Kamakas did I have? Four or five bags of Kamaka rainbows? So it looks like it was just the one the one box with the with the really bad. I mean, this heat pack it's uh it's not 
cold, but it's not, I mean, it's, it's barely even warm, like barely, but the other one was soaking wet though. It, it was definitely frozen, but all right, guys, now I got to carry all of these bags down in the garage. This was not a good idea. Oh, well, you guys saw it live. F it. We're doing it live. We're doing it live, folks. Uh, I got to go. I'm going to go put all these in fish tanks. Uh, so thanks, everyone, for hanging out. Thank you for Land Giraffe and Mr. Zen for becoming members. Mr. Zen for the super chat. Matthew Vargas for the super chat. Um, John, I'm sorry your dog tried to hump you, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Um, I will see you all Monday. Monday evening, 5 p.m. Pacific. I'll see you guys later.